good morning you guys happy tuesday i slept real good last night it's 8 30 i'm out the door headed to the gym i have like those sleepy marks on my arm you know what i mean when you sleep really good and a lovely zit to match on my chin i hate getting zits on my jawline i really shouldn't complain i used to be so acne prone and i'm really not after arlo like kind of balances your hormones and wax them out all at the same time but on the jawline they just hurt so bad so anyways it is what it is it's life so we are on our way to the gym i've had a busy packed day today and i thought i would take you along on all of my errands that we've got to get done i've got poshmark orders to ship out so thank you all who has purchased um from my poshmark i appreciate it so i got three orders to ship out for that today um and yeah, um, I gotta run to the mall. I'm gonna run to Target to do a little clothing haul for you guys. I'm super excited to see what they have out and about and do a little bit more of an affordable clothing try on style haul. Um, Cause it's been a while since I've done like an affordable or I only do Abercrombie right now and it's pricey. So, and then I also have to return some of the Abercrombie items um, for different sizes and whatnot today as well. So that's what we're getting up to. I'm excited to take you guys on the day. And yeah, let's start it off. Right, with that was a good workout. Um, it was just a little over an hour. Um, I followed a workout from someone I found on YouTube. I can't remember their name. Crap, I'll try to look it up and link the video down below, but I'll also leave the workout that I did, but it was not my own, but it was really good. Um, it helps. Honestly, I find it helpful to follow someone else's workout or at least make my own and like stick to something. I'm way more productive, obviously, duh. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed that workout, it was good. We're gonna head home now and make a smoothie, the same smoothie I've been making because I'm obsessed with it, so good. If you guys have tried it out, let me know what you think. I don't know. I know it's super basic and super simple, but I've just, it's changed my life, I'm not gonna lie. Even Scott likes it now and he hated it to begin with, so. Give it a go, let me know. I did want to tell you I just got my white bottle in um, I'm so excited I actually bought this with my own money because I <laughs> wanted it so bad they did gift me the other one um, the only reason I really stopped using it I know you can buy replacement little things but Arlo bit off the like thingy and I just really wanted the white they come in a million different colors honestly well not a million like maybe six or seven but either way I loved the white I thought it was so cool and I really enjoy like it's just fresh I like the white top as well but the little like thing is black which is nice because I was like well I don't want it to get like stained and dirty from like my lip balm or whatever it is so I love this. I just picked this up. I got the 21 ounce again because I just feel like it's the perfect size, honestly, for me. Um, but I do have a 10% off a discount code linked down below if you guys are interested. This water bottle has been honestly amazing. It is such good quality and the, for the price, you cannot beat it. I'm obsessed with it. So this is ice. <laughs> I just filled it back up with water, but the ice in here is from last night. Yes, last night. Um, it's a really freaking good water bottle. I fill it all the way up with ice and then put water in it and like kind of fill it with water so that the, the metal stays really cold inside. But it's amazing and I got the one the white one and I'm so freaking happy that I did it because it's so pretty. I love it. You guys, I have been editing away my morning. It is now 1240. I'm dressed, showered, makeup, ready. I have my little Abercrombie dress on. I'll link this down below if you guys haven't seen my recent haul. I love it. And then a giant mess behind me. These are my orders I need to send off in Poshmark today. I need to post these. Um, I'm going to be posting these vans. They're just too small for me. They're like platformed white ones. They're a five and a half. Um, a pair of Lululemon Wonder Under trains. They're just too small. The trains are really like 
a size smaller, so I should have gotten a six, but these are a four, so if those would work for you, pick them up. I've worn them maybe like half a dozen times, if that. And then these two little bodysuits from Abercrombie, the buttons are just <laughs> too much for me, you guys. It's just too booby, so I have it in black and white, but I love it. Um, besides, I used to wear them before I had a baby, and now they're just too boob for me. So. I'm going to be listing these on my Poshmark as well um, and sending these out. So I'm going to get these out today and then we're going to run some errands. So let's go. All right. So I have my car. I should drive a little more forward so my gate opens. I have my camera mount on. So hopefully this works. Um, I have no idea what it's going to look like, how it's going to be. It's pretty giant, but it is what it is. So. We're gonna give that a go and see how that works out for us. Oh, I need to like actually know where I'm going. Oh, well, I'm going to Office Depot first. Okay, I'm gonna go to a post office. Alrighty, so we're off. Um, I wanted to leave by one o'clock and it is one o'clock, so yay for that. Hopefully this isn't like so like shaky. I feel like it's gonna be insanely shaky. I have no idea, so we're just gonna play it by ear and see how it goes. It's definitely safer, so there's that, and you can't, you can see my steering wheel in it. I guess I could lift it up more. I don't know, this will just be a play around and we'll make adjustments next time, but it doesn't really have a stabilizer, so I'm really not certain how this is gonna go, but I guess it's just gonna have to be what it's gonna be. But um, I'm kinda hungry, I should've eaten before I left. But I didn't because I'm just like in a rush, so I'll probably just pick something up while I'm out. And um, what else was I gonna say? I need to get gas. So, first order of business is going to Office Depot to print off those Poshmark order label situations, and then yeah, I um, brought my little like <clears throat> chambray shirt thing uh, to cover up like at the mall and stuff because I, I don't know, I just feel so exposed in this. <laughs> um, and it's like gonna probably be chilly, so yeah. That's what I brought, um, all my returns. Oh shoot, I forgot an Amazon return. <laughs> Crap, oh well. There's always tomorrow, you guys, always tomorrow. Oh, that girl looks really cute in a visor. I feel like I should check out a visor. I think one of y'all recommended for me to check out a visor. I feel like I'm gonna be so much more rambly in all of these videos now because because um, it's upside down too. I guess it doesn't have to be upside down. Why am I this way? Y'all are upside down right now and then I just realized I don't have to be upside down. <laughs> silly me, silly me. Anyways, let's go. I wonder if anyone thinks that I'm strange from like myself. Probably, I don't really care. I did not drink coffee even though I really want coffee. I'm just so like jittery right now and like full of energy because I'm like blah, 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 blah. when I'm go, 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 I actually don't even need coffee. When I'm like not, that's when I get tired. Makes sense. I'm probably gonna be exhausted tonight. But we are going to a friend's um, house. Oh, it's a green light. For dinner tonight. Um, and yeah, so it's gonna be a longer night. So hopefully Arlo's in a better mood. He's teething. He has currently what, 12 teeth. Um, and I think he's getting some more. Um, obviously that's what they do. But he was miserable yesterday as soon as he got home from daycare. He was just like not having anything. Wouldn't eat, wouldn't drink. Just, I gave him a bath and a little bit of Motrin and he was out, so. Hopefully he's in a better mood tonight because um, we're gonna head over there to cook dinner. Ah, this person was not moving. I hate beeping, but that person was not moving and I didn't want to miss this light because this light sucks to sit at it again. So, um, anyways, I'm gonna run into Office Depot now. I will talk to you guys later. Because I did not eat before I left. We are stopping at Chick-fil-A. I haven't had Chick-fil-A in so long, but I'm so excited. Mm. This is what happens when you don't plan properly, but I don't care. I didn't even open the sauce to my Chick-fil-A. I literally just ate the fries and nuggets while I was driving because I was that hungry. Um, it was 1.30, but I'll save it. But anyways, I wanted to let you know about this dress. This is that Abercrombie athleisure dress I was talking about. It stains super easy. Like the material, I dropped like a bit of a French fry on it and it just like soaked up all the oil because it's like, wicking so it's like quickly absorbing so it quickly absorbs 
anything that falls onto it. So be careful about that because that kind of sucks. Thankfully, it was only one spot. Hopefully, it's only one spot. We'll see when I take the seatbelt off. But also, could not figure out the car mount. So here we are. We'll figure it out eventually, but not while I'm driving, clearly. Hey guys, it just finished up at the mall. I went to Abercrombie, did my returns, and had to place another order in store because they didn't have anything in store. So annoying, but whatever, it is what it is. Um, and then I ran over to Zara to see if I liked anything, but their dressing rooms are still closed. <coughs> Whoa, excuse me. The dressing rooms are still closed, which is like, I think a little excessive. I think they're just doing it because I don't feel like dealing with the go backs and stuff. But the problem is, <clears throat> first of all, I don't think they have a 90 day return policy. I don't know. Their stuff is just so hit and miss for me. Like I just don't know that I have to try stuff on. And I just don't feel like going home, trying it on and then bringing it back. Cause to be honest with you, I didn't do that last time and ended up getting stuck with something that didn't fit me. So I don't want to do that again. Um, it's just not cheap enough to go through that process. So I'm kind of annoyed. Let me know if you, the Zara where you guys live or whatever is open, the dressing rooms, I mean. I just feel like that's kind of nuts. But anyways, we're heading to Target. I really need to go to the post office, but I have to pee so badly. So we're going to Target to handle that business first, do a little bit of shopping, and then go drop off these Poshmark orders. So if you ordered from Poshmark, I've got like a Hawaii, Illinois, and then I forgot where the other one's going to, but um, if it was one of you guys, or three of you guys, thank you so much. If not, it was a random stranger, and that's okay, too. <laughs> the gallery is in my old like stomping grounds. I used to live in Addison when I first moved to Texas, and I love it here. The Target is so good here. Well, it was back when I lived here, compared to the City Target in like Uptown area. Um, so, yeah, I I miss live I miss living here. It's a really I like Addison. If you're not like a partier, then you probably would love Addison. Um because it's like there's everything you need, good food, um shopping, like everything you need. It just um kind of sucks if you like to go up and go out in Uptown or any place not in Addison because well, there's no places really to go out here and you have to pay tolls to go anywhere, which kind of sucks. So, Anyways, I miss Addison. I loved it here. It's such a cute little little area of, it's still technically Dallas, I guess. I don't really know. I don't know anything of how these cities work in Dallas. Target was an absolute fail. I found like one pair of shorts that I liked, but not enough to like buy them. You know what I mean? So that's a bummer. I don't know what was going on. I don't know if it's just that Target and I used to, thought, used to think it was really good or they just don't have anything in stores right now. I guess it's kind of a weird in between where it's, Still, it's obviously summer, but they're probably ramping up for fall. I got a passion tea. I wanted a green tea, but they didn't have it apparently at that location. I don't know. But anyways, while I was in line, um, this guy, this like older gentleman, like gave me his business card. We were talking. He was like asking. He's like, "Oh, do you go to school around here?" And we were just like both waiting for our drinks. And he was like, "Oh, um, do you go to school around here?" Blah blah. blah. And I was like, "No." Um, and I graduated a very long time ago, thank you very much. And, and then we just were like talking, whatever. Um, I don't mind if someone wants to have a conversation and it's like not like, I mean, I have a ring on, so clearly, he had a ring on as well. So clearly it was not like a, I'm hitting on you situation, like the gym when I don't wear my ring because of like, don't wanna get ruined, which I just need to buy like a silicone one. But anyways, he was nice and um, as we were brought me to Texas, um, asked me what I used to do, what I do currently, and told him like I'm in social media, marketing, networking, whatever it is, blah, 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 I don't know, YouTube. And then he um, was like, oh, um, well I actually am looking for someone to help me with a marketing network, but I don't know. I don't, regardless, he gave me his business card and was like, um, used to be in oil and now is the CEO of energy, whatever. I have no idea. I'll look into it when I get home. Probably won't do too much into it, but it's always nice. You just never know who you can meet. Um, so it's good to be like open and friendly with people, especially if you're in like a public place, but not be like, if, if that person's not being like really creepy and forward or anything like that. And this person wasn't. So it was nice. Um, so we'll see, we'll see what happens, but um, for now, I'm gonna head home, I guess, because, oh no, I need to go to the post office, duh. Because Target was a fail, you guys.
isn't it crazy when you want to like go and buy something and like you're like I'm ready to spend money on something and then you can't find anything you like I feel like that's always the case and when you don't want to spend anything that's when you like find everything so there's an ugly crow right next to me on that car oh he's gross okay let's go to the post office thing. <laughs> like Okay, first of all, um, normally I just use my own boxes and I didn't have any at home because I haven't really purchased much off of, I normally use Amazon boxes. Anyways, so I had to go and get like boxes there. Like they provide you with free priority because you like Poshmark already does the shipping, whatever it is. So they didn't have any boxes. They only had like t-shirt bags or whatever. And I was like, oh, I don't love that idea because I'm just like nervous that it won't, it's probably fine. It just makes me nervous, okay? So anyways, I'm like doing that and they don't have scissors there. They only have a pen so I can stab the tape to tape the um, barcode on there, which is kind of annoying. So whatever, I do that. And I'm like getting everything sorted because each person ordered different stuff. So I had to like make sure I had the right stuff in the bags, whatever, with the name. And I realized like the guy, first of all, the guy was like, this is my favorite pen, don't lose this pen. And I was like, okay, I'm literally just gonna go right here and do it to stab the tape, right? And then I'm like packaging everything up and I realized the pen's not there. And I'm like, what the, how, where the heck did the pen go? Mind you, it's a US Postal Service pen, right? So I'm like, well, where the heck could it go? Like I was checking my bags, I was checking the clothes. I was like, where could I have put this dang pen? Like I finished and I was looking for the pen for like a solid five minutes. And then I look at the counter that this lady came up next to me and took the pen. Well, I look at her and I'm like, ma'am, I think that's um, my pen. And she's like, no, it's not. And I'm like, ma'am, it's actually his pen. It says US Postal Service. I've been looking for it because he let me borrow it. And she like argued with me and was like, no, it's not your pen. And I'm like, okay, okay, so. And the guy was finally like, ma'am, that's my pen. Clearly you don't work for the post service. It was really weird, but I was like frustrated because I was trying to find this stupid pen and I found it and the lady took it from me. Anyways, okay, we're done. <laughs> that was a whole headache. It's three o'clock, let's head home. I've got to run to Oldies to grab scallops because I like their scallops and um, yeah, and some red onion, I think, is all that Scott needs extra for his recipe. But that was just kind of a crazy day, I tell you, a crazy day. But I have to look up where I'm going because I have no idea. But looking for a pen like a dang fool, I swear to you. It was nuts. Finally home after a long, long day. I'm feeling kind of tired because I wanted a green tea, but they didn't have it. And I'm pretty sure passion fruit tea does not have caffeine it, correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm gonna try one of these bubbly bounce caffeinated drinks, they only have 35. You okay there Winnie? She's not gonna belong. I only have 35 milligrams of caffeine, so I'm gonna sip on one of these and just relax for a second because I've been running around like a crazy human, huh Winnie? You know it too? Winnie knows it too. Good morning you guys. I am not feeling my best this morning. We went um, over to a friend's house last night only had two beers so it wasn't a big deal but I'm just like my throat is so scratchy but I honestly felt that way yesterday a little bit but it's worse this morning so I am having some mini bagels ignore my weird butter we didn't have any like spreadable butter I didn't pick any up because I forgot so I had to use like the stick butter and I feel like it's just always so hard and I'm having a green juice um but anyways I figured uh, I would kind of wrap up the vlog because I'm just gonna chill today. I did not even wanna go to the gym, it's Wednesday. I am just taking care of myself today. I'm not feeling the greatest, like I said. So um, this morning I woke up, I was like researching some new shoes for Arlo to get because he's growing out of his threes finally. I don't know why I'm surprised or celebrating the fact that he's growing out of his shoes because I'm gonna, there's gonna come a time where I'm like stay little and don't grow out of your shoes. but. Anyway, um, mm, bagel. Um, Journey's Kids is where I get his shoes. I love them. I'm thinking about another pair of Vans. Um, but then I was, um, while I was searching for shoes, Scott messaged me. He's downstairs working, but <clears throat> he sent me this wedding venue on Canandaigua Lake 
which is only like 40 minutes from my dad's place so it's still a finger lake and um it's called the lake house just lake house it is beautiful like so beautiful and so i sent them an email and they got back to me within like two minutes um definitely no dates for 2022 like at all so 2023 is the next option and i just had no idea how expensive weddings were like i thought they were expensive but i had no idea first of all it only houses 220 people which um, we were thinking more like 300, so we're gonna cut that down. But I didn't want a huge wedding, so I'm okay with knowing that it can only fit 220, so that's awesome. Um, there's a minimum of 150. But anyway, um, it just the pictures are beautiful. The prices are like just for food and the venue and stuff, it's like almost 100 grand. Not including the dress, the cake, the tips, the like. I don't know if service is, I have no, I have no idea you guys. I had no idea weddings can be that, I mean, I knew they could be that expensive, obviously I knew, I mean, anything. But like, I just don't even know, like that is so much. Uh, one thing I love about this place is they do like everything, but, um, and their food looks really good. I obviously haven't tasted it, so I have no idea. But like, I just want to say thank you and you should be thankful for anybody who invites you to their wedding because it's like $250 a person, a person, just a person, one person. It's so crazy. Like each past hors d'oeuvre, I was looking at their menu. They have some really nice ones, but each one, just one of them is $4. What? What? That to me just like blows my mind. I don't know. I'm like, I don't know. That's a lot. <laughs> salads like you know how you can do like buffet style you pick you think of $17 per person per salad and it's like huh what that's that's nuts I can go get a salad from like I can uber eat a salad for cheaper than $17 <laughs> like what I don't know I had no idea you guys so I don't know obviously it's just the first one that we looked at that I was like wowed by um so it's probably not the one. I don't know. We'll see. It's the first one that actually got me excited to plan a wedding though, honestly. So that's a good sign, I guess. <laughs> um, it was beautiful. But pictures, I feel like, are always way more beautiful than in person for like those sort of things anyways. Um, not me. I look better in person than in pictures. I mean, I, I personally think <laughs> so. I hate taking pictures. I'm so not photogenic. But I feel like they always look beautiful in person so or in pictures and then when you see it you're like oh it's definitely not as bright as it is in the picture because editing does wonders but anyway so I guess we will add that to the list of venues to look at but now Scott wants to do summer next summer is not available either obviously the following summer they have nothing available in June besides Thursdays um but I was thinking maybe July um the first weekend of July because it's 4th of July and people would have an extra day. I don't know, I'm rambling at this point. But if you're curious to see what the venue looks like, I'll leave it down below. Um, and if you know anybody who got married there or know anything else about it, let me know. Um, but I am going to eat my bagel. Mm. I'm gonna hopefully try to take a walk today to just get my body moving a little bit if I'm feeling better after my food. <clears throat> I started listening to a new podcast called The OC Swingers. And I love listening to podcasts about OC because I lived there. Um, so it's always so interesting to me. And I'm like, oh, that could happen to me. But then it couldn't happen to me because I wouldn't have. But either way, it could happen to anyone, I guess. But it's pretty interesting so far. It's, it's not my favorite, but it's interesting so far. So I do want to listen to that. So maybe I will force myself to go on a walk. <laughs> Um, or treat myself, that's how, I, that's how I like to put it, treat myself to a podcast while I walk, um, but we'll see. But anyways, if I film any more, I'll insert it, and if I don't, then goodbye. <laughs> so. Good morning, <clears throat> you guys. I am at the gym. I'm still not feeling like my hottest, but I know it's not a cold. I think it's just allergies because my throat is so scratchy. It's like 
unreal. And I just have this like unquenchable thirst. I don't know. I'm filming on my phone because I forgot my camera. Um, but I'm like really deciding what I want to do today. I know I don't want to do a leg day. I like can't go that hard. Um, cause I'm still like not a hundo. And then I don't really want to do arms. I'm like, should I just walk on the treadmill? It's like, I just got here. It's 830. Now what are we going to do? I painted my nails last night. I'm like feeling like this is more blue than it normally is, but maybe it's just cause I'm not tan. Um, I'm really delaying going inside. I've got some errands to run today, um, and we've got a play to go to tonight. Um, so we're dropping our loft at a friend's house. Um, and yeah, as he's, I just don't know what I want to do today. <laughs> I'm trying to drink pre-workout. Maybe it's just cause I literally did not get out of my bed yesterday. Like at all, you guys, like not at all. I stayed in bed. I searched so many different wedding venues and now I'm feeling seriously discouraged um, because of the fact that I did not realize how expensive weddings are. Like this wedding venue that is like absolutely perfect. It is like exceeds all my wildest dreams. Of course I had to find it because all the other ones pale in comparison and um, I mean you minimally have to have 150 people we were thinking it was going to be a much larger wedding than that but even if you have the 150 people and like the basic package it's still like seventy thousand dollars and that doesn't include like gratuity that doesn't include literally anything else besides the venue and food and liquor i'm like my god i don't even know i like don't even i um <laughs> This is why probably I never wanted to, but it's honestly also the, the only venue that's gotten me excited about like, okay, this is it. Like this is, I love this. So I don't know. I like was thinking a wedding, like a, a nice wedding, honestly, like my thoughts. And I don't know if this is like outrageous or not. It was like 50 to 70,000. And I still think that's outrageous for one freaking day, right? But I realized that yes, this wedding is about me and Scott, but it's also very much so about my dad. And um, you know, it's it's a it's a special day, and I wouldn't want to take that away from him. And and it's like one of those things where I know people are going to have their opinion about like a wedding is meant for you, and you should do what you want to do. And I get that totally, but I also feel like it's such a big deal for like your parents. Um, and obviously, um, just my one, <laughs> but yeah, I just like had no idea. And there's just like so many little fees that come with weddings. Like, like for instance, and that doesn't include the flowers either, but thankfully my dad knows a really amazing florist. Um, she did the flowers for my mom's funeral and I was just like blown away. He built her flower shop. But anyways, um, like the cake, for instance, they don't do cake with inside the restaurant. The food like is extravagant it's amazing like amazing like i had no idea that you could have wedding food like that but um what was i saying oh you have to bring a cake from outside obviously right well you can get their desserts but it's not wedding cake it's four dollars cutting fee per person well if you have 220 people that's 840 dollars is it 840 <laughs> math um is it 880 it's 880 it's 880 oh my god that's an extra thousand dollars just for a cutting fee of a cake. That's to me is nuts. Like, holy crap. <laughs> I don't know, there's just like a lot and then you have to think of gratuity. I don't know, it's it's a lot. So I have to like be realistic and ask my dad like truly like, cause he's th thankfully been very like, like willing to, to help and, um, and, um, support during the wedding and so I need to be realistic and ask like because he didn't say a budget and I'm like well you can easily plan a $300,000 wedding without even thinking about it like 100% you easily do it so it's like I need something to like go off of because I think that that's ridiculous and I know he has some sort of number in his mind so I need to figure out what that number is 
because girl of course i want to have a beautiful wedding of course i want everyone to have fun of course i want you know but i just think a hundred thousand dollars for one freaking day is nuts and it's going to be more than that and i just i feel like holy holy sh holy sh so let's go to the gym i'm actually just procrastinating because i don't feel like going inside i don't know i don't know i also just like don't want to ask my dad because i know like he will pretty much do like not that he wouldn't do something he's not comfortable with. My dad's not like that. But I just, I don't know. I don't know if that's like even ridiculous to even ask. I'm going to Google what's the average cost of a wedding. Okay, bye. You guys. Well, first of all, I know some of y'all told me that you planned your wedding for like eight grand, ten grand. Um, which, wow, kudos to you. That's freaking impressive. Um, an average cost of a wedding is like 20 grand. 20 to 30 grand. That's average. How the heck is this place that expensive? I mean, it's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. I don't know. That's a pill. That's a hard pill to swallow. <laughs> I'm scared. All right, I just got done. <clears throat> Sorry, at the gym. Uh, it was a terrible workout. Uh, I forgot deodorant, so I was like trying to stay away from everybody and it was not working. So I called it a short day. I smell so terrible. I hate when I do that. I feel like it throws me off super bad. Um, I'm glad I just got up, did a little bit of something, nothing crazy. But uh, yeah, I stink, so I need to go and take a shower. I don't know, I also feel like when I'm sick, I like smell worse, you know, cause your body's like trying to get rid of it all. But anyways, note to self, I probably should just keep deodorant in my car. But I very, like, it hasn't happened very often, but this is disgusting, so. Ugh, anyways. Let's go home! Guys, um, when I got home from the gym, I went for a little walk, cause I was already smelly, so I was like, might as well just go for a walk before I take a shower. So we just walked a little bit. I think we walked like only two miles because it was really warm out. Um, and I'm honestly still not feeling like 100%. And then I've been listening to OC Swingers. It's getting so good. <laughs> so I'm super into that. And then I took a shower clearly to my skincare. I'm just chilling in like comfies. Um, and I just posted some more stuff to my Poshmark. So <laughs> ignore the messiness that is my life. I posted these two bodysuits from Abercrombie, a pair of the new shoes that I was showing you guys that just don't fit me, and then two little workout sets from Target. I loved these. They just don't fit me quite the way they used to, and I don't reach for them as much because they're more of like an athleisure, and I have things that I like a little bit more. So, um, yeah, these little sets are up on my Hoshmark now, so I will have all the links and stuff down below for you guys out of breath right now. I just had to run downstairs. I'm so bad at checking my Poshmark messages. I need to turn on the alerts because this reminded me. Someone asked me how like long the dress is from tip to um, tip. So it's 32 inches. So I need to go message her back. See if she's interested in this dress. Obviously it's insanely wrinkly. I would not send it like this, but you get the gist. I just ordered these little shoes for Arlo. I just thought the colors were too precious. They are not Velcro. They're like a bungee. I believe the laces are kind of like bungee. So we'll see how those go. I have no idea, but I think they're super cute. I got them for him in a four. He's currently in a three. So I think these will be perfect for the rest of summer and into a little bit of fall. And then I'll get him a darker pair for fall. But if you have any experience with these slip-ons versus the... um velcro let me know I'm, I'm not sure hopefully it's a tight slip on but they're just so freaking precious and they don't sell them in the velcro so we'll see how they go it's one o'clock i'm dark <laughs> i'm hungry so i wanted to share with you what i've been doing for with me this lighting my sandwiches lately so i'm in the mood for a sandwich we're probably having pizza for dinner tonight so i'm not gonna have like too heavy of a, um, ooh, or should I have a salad? I think I'm actually gonna have a, I'm actually gonna have a salad. <laughs> Sorry, I'll show you my sandwich recipe. 
another time. I made stuff for a taco salad yesterday and I'm gonna make it again today because we have leftovers and I don't want it to go bad. Um, so, I'll explain to you what we got going with that. That's probably a better option given that I'm gonna have pizza later. I think that's everything I need. All right, I'm gonna use a giant bowl. I got this from, it's literally the size of my head. Got this from World Market. <clears throat> Let me prep you a little bit differently. And I love it for salads. Okay, so in the bowl, I had already pre-chopped some lettuce. If you're having a struggle, or if you're struggling with A, keeping your lettuce fresh and B, like not reaching for it because it's not prepped, prep it ahead of time, just cut it up, rinse it, and then put a paper towel at the bottom of the Tupperware and you're good to go. So we're gonna go a hefty base of lettuce because I'm pretty hungry. <clears throat> and then, to heat up some of my heating things that I want heated. So last night, this is what we had for dinner. So I made some rice in the rice cooker. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat up a little bit of that. I probably should use, you know, like a fork, but. I love adding rice to my salads. I know you really can't see me, but I feel like it is so, like, feels like you're not eating a salad. Come on up. It's kind of like a chipotle bowl. So I have a good amount of rice there on the plate. Probably about a little less than a cup. Then, last night I just cooked up some ground turkey um, with some taco seasoning that I kind of like just made. And then also in here is some peppers and onions that I made and then some black beans. I cooked them all separately, but today, or Scott just like put them all in one container, which is fine because I'm just gonna go ahead and dump a good bit of this onto the plate. So obviously you could just eat it like this, but I like the lettuce. So I'll put that in for about 30 seconds. Then I'm going to top it with some light Mexican shredded cheese, some Greek yogurt as sour cream, and then this I use as a dressing. It's just <laughs> Frank's Red Hot. It's my favorite hot sauce in the entire world. Uh oh. Well, Winky gets to eat the food that I dropped on the floor. Congratulations, Winnie. <laughs> uh, I'm a klutz. I'm so thankful for Winnie. And she's so thankful for me when I do <laughs> drop stuff. Now, I put down my better rice on top of my greens. I mean, you can just throw everything on it, but you know what I mean. And then meat, veggies, and beans. This is gonna be a pretty big lunch, but it should hold me over until dinner. So we got that, about a serving of cheese. Okay. Lots and lots of hot sauce. I'm almost out of this. Oh no, I probably would've used way more if I could, but I don't have any more. And then a dollop of yogurt. <coughs> Winnie has already eaten everything off the floor. Okay, and then I take a big old dollop of yogurt for that creamy, sour, creamy tanginess. Okay, so there we have it, a little taco salad. You could obviously put tortillas with this as well, um, but yum, this looks so good. I'm gonna scarf this down. All right, we are ready for the day at 2.30. Um, I'm gonna run to Target because I need to get a new hand cream and I just feel like going to Target. I don't know. I use hot rollers on my hair today. I will link the hot rollers that I use down below. 
probably not going to keep this part. It's just there. Uh, I have my same little twisty Amazon earrings that I wear all the time. This is the exact outfit I wore in one of my recent, uh, my most recent Abercrombie hauls. I just love this outfit. Um, it totally reminds me of my mom. But anyways, I have this like green ribbed bodysuit on, my white Everlane jeans, the summer jean, which I love. And then um, this little denim throw over and then I just threw on my Burks for an easy little look. So we're gonna run over to Target really quick. Um, yeah, just browse around, I guess. Before I head out, I just like, just uploaded my recent Girl Talk video, my big change, what's next, feeling super lost and complacent in life. And I had no idea when I filmed that video what I really wanted to talk about how I was gonna address it. And when I edited that video, I almost didn't even post it, you guys. Like, I literally was like, I'm just all over the place. I make no sense. People probably won't understand what I'm saying. And the feedback I've already gotten is just so insanely amazing. And it just reminds me when I'm feeling like down or am I in this? Is this the right thing that I should be doing? You guys instantly remind me that this is what I'm supposed to do. and. I'm supposed to open up, I'm supposed to connect with you guys on a level that I just never even knew was possible. And I just can't tell you how grateful I am. That, Of course, there's people that are not nice, <laughs> haters, whatever you call them. But there are so many of you guys that are just like the biggest, like, support in my life. And I can't, I don't deserve it, but I'm just so thankful. So, <sighs> thank you. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Okay, I forgot my camera. So we're gonna film on my phone. I'm headed to Target. Um, I just was listening to the radio and they talked about how there's a Dr. Death TV show. I think it's on like Peacock. Have y'all watched it yet? If you're um, like podcast crazy like I am. Um, if you haven't listened to Dr. Death's podcast, it is, freaking phenomenal but um yeah if you guys have seen that show let me know in the comments um i'm gonna try to watch it not tonight because we have a show to go to um but maybe tomorrow i will start start that episode so let's go to target let's see what we can get ourselves up to Alrighty, I just finished up at Target and I got quite a bit of stuff. I think I'm gonna film like a full on, like try on haul situation. I got a couple of really cute things and I thought I would share it with you. Um, So I think I'll do that maybe on like my next video or something. I don't really know. Soon, soon. I like to post it soon because I feel like Target runs out of stuff so fast and I'm like, you gotta post it quick, so that's the plan um <clears throat> it's 3 40. i am like so scratchy in my throat right now <coughs> and i think i need a coffee i was gonna go in from starbucks but then i was like girl you got new creamer at home a fresh new bin and coffee so go get it from home we're going to a community theater scott's uncle is a director i want to say for this community theater and it's matilda so we're going to see that i think it's a farmer's ranch um and yeah, that's the plans for tonight. This is gonna be a very long, very rambly, very crazy vlog. Um, I literally went into Target to get, whoa, that guy just ran a red light. Okay. So clearly he's crazy, it's fine. We just let those people go. Oh, he ran a red light to get to Whataburger, priorities. <laughs> <laughs> Craziness. But anyways, I ran in to Target for hand cream and ended up with a lot more than hand cream. So, got my coffee. Mm. <laughs> and the most random snack. Coffee with dill pickle popcorn from Trader Joe's. But anyways, I get this email that my Amazon orders delivered and I was like, oh, is it both of them? This is what I just ordered. <laughs> so this was handed directly to our receptionist or someone at the front desk. Oop, you couldn't even see that. Who, who's that? I don't have a receptionist or a front desk. So let's see if they're talking about Scott. And if so, I'm gonna say thank you so much for being the best receptionist ever. And how cute are these earrings? Let's go see if they arrived. Nobody handed it to any receptionist. He probably clicked the wrong button, but I got it. So 
this looks like it's open. I hope it's got a seal on it. It does. Okay, I got a new pre-workout. Um, this is my favorite Alani new Arctic White. I have not tried the Arctic White flavor yet. I've only tried Rainbow Candy, so got that. And then the one package that said it was delivered to the door is not there, so I feel like they do that stuff all the time. I got a little workout set. I've been seeing this everywhere. And honestly, it's very similar to the one that I just posted on my Poshmark for Target. That looks so tiny. Oh my gosh. It looks super tiny. It looks really cute. It's got cute contouring. I'll link it down below. Um, it comes in a bunch of colors, but I really like the orange. I think it's really fun. Ooh, it has like serious padding in the boobs. Um, but it's just like a typical sports bra biker short. They're not. I thought that they said biker shorts. They're definitely not a biker short. I would say they're like a three inch seam. Well, like a four inch seam, but they look really nice. So I'm excited to try that out. I will let you guys know. I think I'm gonna film an Amazon favorites recent purchases video soon. I'm sweaty. I was gonna film my Target haul but then I was like I only have like an hour and I don't want to be rushed because when I'm rushed I start talking like psycho fast so I'm like I'll just wait and do it tomorrow but I'm gonna prep for it tonight so I'm gonna prep the like um clothing rack that I have in the video and um hang everything up so that's what I'm gonna do right now <laughs> set everything up for the haul for tomorrow but um this set this is in a size small I honestly could have sized up to a medium it is very snug I mean it holds everything in and whatnot I love it's not see-through at all um it's just like borderline too small on the bottoms um the sports bra fits perfectly but yeah, it's not a problem. I don't feel uncomfortable in it and it'll probably loosen honestly with time. It doesn't give me a camel situation. It's really, really cute. I am, um, yeah, cute. I just am like, oh, should I get the medium? I know it's like borderline like two, but the goal is to lose a little bit of weight. So I hate buying clothes like that though. But anyways, I, thoroughly enjoy this set and it's more of like a muted orange so I think it's honestly super pretty. <laughs> 